In this video, I will show you how to configure archive page settings. Before I start the video, I would recommend you to watch our how to configure block page video as you will find similar settings for both pages. You will find the link in the description box below or you can also click on the eye icon above to access the video. Go to Appearance, then click on Customize. Under Posts and Pages, go to Archive Page. To demonstrate the Archive Page settings, let's go to Block Page once again. And I will open one of the category pages from here. Let's open the Business Category page. Now let's dive into the settings. The first option is page title. You can either disable the page title or you can enable it back on. When you enable the page title, you will also have more options. Just click on this arrow right here. Under general tab, you'll find options like prefix. You can make the prefix visible like how it is showing right now or you can Disable it, which will make the prefix invisible. Next, you can enable or disable the breadcrumb. This right here is the breadcrumb. You can either disable it or you can enable it back on. You can also do the same with the archive title. You can also enable or disable the archive description if you have added the description for your archive page. You can also select horizontal alignment across different devices. Like for the tablet device, you can select left. Then for mobile, you can go for the right. And for the desktop, you can stick with the center horizontal alignment. Next is the vertical spacing. You can set the vertical spacing from here. If you want to reset, click on the reset icon. And you can also enable to show counts which will display counts here and upon enabling the show counts option, you can also set the bottom margin. Again, if you wish to reset the value, you can click on the reset icon here. Under design tab, you can select the content area background. Click here, then select the color of your choice. You also have the option to select the archive font color. Click here, then select the color of your choice. Let's go with blue. Let's go back. The options from block page layout to stretch layout are similar to the settings you will find for your block page. Once again, I would recommend you to watch that video with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. I will briefly explain the settings here. Here, you can select the block page layout. You can select from the classic layout, listing layout, grid or masonry grid layout. By default, the grid layout is selected. You can go for any layout of your choice. From under post elements, you can configure, add and remove items as well as make various elements appear or disappear. Like you can configure your featured image from here, the featured image that you have added for various blog post articles. You can configure the post meta number one, which is the information right above the title. You can configure the title from here. Then you can configure post meta number two. You can make the items appear by clicking on the eye icon and you can further configure the item that you have added. You can also configure the excerpt. You can select the post content from either excerpt or full content. If you select excerpt, only the summary of the blog posts will display as the excerpt. If you select content, then full content will be displayed as the excerpt for each of your blog post articles. And when you select excerpt, you can also select the length from here. You can either increase the length or you can decrease it. 
The number of words you select will be displayed as the excerpt here. You can also configure your divider. You can make it visible by clicking on the eye icon, which will display the divider right here. You can also further configure it. Then you can also configure the read more button. Then you can also select the pagination as numbered or infinite scroll. You can also display the number of posts per row since you have selected the sidebar layout as no sidebar layout. You can go up to 4. Then if you want to display sidebar on either the right or the left side of your archive page, then you can either go for the right or the left sidebar layout from under sidebar layout options. You can also select the archive container from default boxed, content boxed to unboxed. Then you can also enable the stretch layout, which will stretch the container width to the end of the screen. After you are done, click on publish. If you have any questions, you can directly reach out to our support team. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.